Hey everyone, how's it going? I wanted to show you this uh, jackpot sewing haul, I guess I'm calling it. Uh, I found this on Facebook Marketplace and this is all the stuff I got. Not the lamp, but the sewing cabinet, the sewing machines, and all the sewing supplies you see on the right. And I got this all for $200. I know, it's crazy, but I don't know. This is an amazing deal. So uh, let's look at a close-up of everything. Um, I'll kind of review, I guess, the machines in separate videos. Not really review because I'm not a sewing expert, unfortunately. I just like sewing machines. But I'll show you the machines in more detail in separate videos. But let's look at the haul. I don't have it plugged in. Uh, the cords I do have in the the foot control and everything on each of these machines I have. But this is the Baby Lock Crafter's Choice. And if you saw my last video, the machine I had before that was a white 1409. And that machine's pretty heavy duty and good. Uh, just very basic. Uh, this is definitely a step up and I'll be keeping this machine. I really like it. So it's the Crafter's Choice BLCC. Not the BLCC2 or something. It's just the BLCC. But it's a very cool machine. Um, I don't know what to say about it. It's just automatic threader and all that good stuff. And I'll go into more detail. But this is like my favorite part. I don't have the needle in there. But that is my favorite part. Because when you hit 40, your eyes go. And I need cheater glasses. And I haven't gotten any yet. So again, I'll show you this machine in a separate video. But I'll be keeping this machine. So I'm going to save the best for last. So we are going to skip over to the supplies and then the cabinet and then the baby lock serger at the last of this video. So the supplies, again, I got this all for 200 bucks. So the supplies, uh, the bottom right is full of, I'm not gonna open them all up for you because it would take an hour to go through them and I just got them sorted. But the bottom right is the thread for the serger. So it's overlock thread on the cone. I guess maybe they all come in cones. And up from the right is a box. Let me zoom into that. My camera skills aren't very good, but. So this one is full of Probably half of them or more are brand new in their cases. This is full of um, crochet hooks and knitting hooks. I separate those all out. Pretty much, I think all of them are that. Uh, some I don't have the cases inside there. I don't know what sizes the needles go to, so I have to figure that out because I've never crocheted. Actually, I've never knit. I crocheted before. I made a long string. That's all I could do. <laughs> anyway, my sister was really into crocheting. Uh, up from there, oops, nope, yep, this one. So these, actually, these two boxes on the right here were, are R buttons, but they, I separated them. The bottom box is full of kind of, I guess you would call it remnants, so half used button packages, but the top, let me get in close to that one, the top, is full of brand new, never used buttons on their, on their paper and stuff. So I'm probably gonna sell a lot of this stuff off because I'll never use it. And maybe I can make some money on eBay on those. Uh, we got some tools down there. What's in that one? That one's needles, uh, threads in that one. This one right here in the middle is I separate out the brand new stuff that's never been opened. I'll sell that separately on eBay. This one, I know this is so exciting, but this one's full of um, elastics and uh, bindings and stuff. And then finally at the top, uh, full of zippers. Those are all the new zippers, except the ones, the pink one you see is not new. Uh, other than that, they're all brand new zippers. So over here, we've got two vintage sewing machine, or not sewing machine, sewing cases, I guess you'd say. Uh, they're Wilson Will Store cases, so they're vintage. I cleaned them up, um, they're pretty cool. And then full of old buttons. So there's that. And random, special maybe, there were special buttons, but there's that. Um, before we get to the machine, the serger, 
the cabinet. On the bottom left, you'll see it's missing a spool holder. Uh, I took that off because one of the pins, spool pins, was broken off and I have that, so I'm going to glue it back together and put it back on. Other than that, it's complete as you see it. You've seen these before, I'm sure. They fold up into themselves and it's like half the size that you're seeing here. So in on the serger, I got tangled on some cords, sorry. <laughs> uh, this is the Baby Lock Imagine, but the model numbers have to look at it every time on the manual. And the manuals do come with these. B-L-E-1-A-T. So I don't, I've played with this, it's cool. Because I'm not a huge sewer, I really am into the sewing machines, but I'm not a huge sewer. Um, I am selling this one on eBay. So this machine is the jewel of the whole kit and caboodle, the jewel of my haul. Um, the $200 I paid, this thing this thing is worth probably three times that on eBay, maybe more, depending. I've seen it from $800 or $900. Um, the lowest I've seen is like between $500 and $600, I guess. So I have it on eBay for sale, and we'll see if someone wants it. It works great. It's been serviced forever. Um, the lady who owned all of this, uh, elderly lady, she was in her 80s, um, she was having health issues and her daughter, who I ended up buying this all from, her daughter uh, had to put her in a nursing home, unfortunately, and then they sold the house and when I went to pick it up, the house was completely empty, cleaned out, everything was, the house had been sold, and cleaned out, everything was cleaned except this lot of stuff. And the lady, very, very nice lady, um, she didn't know much about sewing machines, and I didn't either. I just started collecting them. Um, but she didn't know what she had, and I lucked out and got it. So, um, so the story is that the reason this was left behind is because the gal who bought the house wanted all of this included in the house sale. So... She said they include it, but they didn't put it in the contract. And long story longer, uh, the buyer of the house was, uh, as I'm told, was very kind of vicious and evil, not a nice person. So the gal selling the house, who I bought this all from, said, you're not getting any of this stuff. I am selling it separately. So she put it up on Facebook Marketplace. It was up there for maybe five or 10 minutes when I noticed it. Luckily, I had been looking. And I messaged her right away. The, the town is about 45 miles from where I live, and I drove up there and bought it all. And I put everything in my car, and I even fit the sewing cabinet in the back seat of my car, barely. It's scratched up stuff, but whatever. So this is my haul. And not rubbing it in all your faces, but I think it's awesome. So uh, anyway, no, anyway, let me know what you think. And if you wanna see more stuff in the boxes, let me know and I'll do separate videos. Uh, like I said, I'll do the videos of each machine separately and um, as I'm learning how to use them and stuff. I know how to turn them on, I know how to thread them, and I know how to sew stuff, but I am a novice when it comes to sewing. Thanks for watching. I'll try not to make this video any longer, so I'm gonna stop here, and hopefully you're subscribed because I'm doing more videos. I've got more machines to show you, and I keep buying more, I'm finding more, and it's my new latest obsession. Uh, thanks for watching, and take care.